I believe been uploaded, sir. We're online and ready. So if you can only watch one of my videos, this is the one you should pick. This is by far the biggest project I've ever done, the hardest project I've ever done, and the one I'm most proud of. This is the one, guys. This is where we take it to the next level. Today, we are finally gonna complete a lifelong goal of mine and finally fly on my personal hovercraft. So for you to fully understand why I'm like freaking out making this video, I gotta give you a little backstory. So I've been making videos my whole life. Like I've always loved making movies and telling stories. And I've also always loved building things. So I started YouTube because it let me do both of those things. I started probably eight years ago now. I was a 13 year old with some duct tape and a bad camera. So in those eight years, it's safe to say my videos have changed and I've changed. But when you get popular for something on YouTube, that's all that people expect. In my case, it was like small life hacks and spy gadgets, web shooters, kind of five minute craft style. I didn't even show my face. And I'm not saying I'm not proud of any of those videos. I'm just saying I'm older now, I've learned more and my interests have changed. But it takes a lot of work to change an audience on YouTube. And I think this is something a lot of creators struggle with. Well, the content you wanna make doesn't get nearly the same attention as your old style of videos. Combine that with being a full-time college student, pretty difficult hole to climb out of. So for the past probably three years now, it's hard to put an exact time frame on it, my goal has been to build bigger and better projects. Like projects that demonstrate what I'm actually capable of. The projects that could one day make a difference in the world. And so came the flying project. I knew a project like this could take me to that next level I'm looking for. And I know I had enough passion for this to make up for the audience who doesn't, yet. So I started by trying to build an electric paramotor. It cost me way more money than I would ever get in return, and it put me way outside my comfort zone, where I ended up in the ER with 40 stitches in my arm after the blade took a chunk out of it. So my friend and I, we went out to a field by his house, set up everything, and we went for it. And that's when things went horribly wrong. Uh, so here's just a picture of me chilling in an ER. And actually one of the worst parts was calling my parents and telling them what I did, uh, even after they specifically told me not to. Big L taken that day. Not just because of the project failure, but some personal stuff as well. But I still couldn't shake this idea of flying. Although the blade cut a piece out of my arm, couldn't cut out the idea of flying. I can't say that, it's too cheesy. <laughs> Reel it in, Jake. So in that low point in my life, I hatched this hoverboard drone idea. <clears throat> So in this low point in my life, I hatched this hoverboard drone idea. That's right, instead of one blade that almost nearly took off my arm, let's add nine more. So in that dark snowy winter, I built the first prototype. So over the next year and a half, after crash, after crash, after dollar, after crash, after trip to the Home Depot, after crash again, We finally made it to this point. I've completely rebuilt this drone to feature a state-of-the-art flight controller, 10 spinning blades, and a super strong cage for protection. We've done lift tests with 50 pounds, 100 pounds, 200 pounds, and then the last part, I actually built the rig to help me learn to fly and got on it myself. It was an unbelievable feeling to step on this thing and feel this creation that I made just lift me off the ground, even if it was just for a second. So I kept training using the support rig I made. It definitely took some practice to get comfortable, but the drone does self-stabilize, so it's more of a matter of getting over the sheer disbelief of what I'm actually doing. Like this is absolutely insane, guys. I know this isn't the first one of its kind, but there's probably only a handful of these out there, so it's still super cutting edge. Like these aren't for sale, you can't buy these. It's like, yeah, sick Ferrari, let me just hop in my hovercraft. Anyways, I made some upgrades. I got a tablet now to show all the flight data live as we're flying it. And I built a rig to hold the control and the tablet and tried attaching it directly to the drone so you could like have something to hold onto. But unfortunately it would vibrate during flight and was kind of hard to hold onto anyways. So I figured I'd just be better off attaching some straps to it and mounting it to my chest. I also rewired the power systems for longer flight time. So instead of each motor, having its own separate battery, combining them all together so all the motors would suck from all the batteries. This helps drain the batteries evenly, so we get longer flight times, in theory that is. For whatever reason, the motors couldn't draw enough current, and I couldn't get off the ground anymore. Maybe it was the wires I used, but they were rated for 3,000 amps, so you know, who knows. So after only a slight mental breakdown, probably 20 minutes of crying, I rewired each motor in pairs, so two batteries controlling two motors. It still helped the batteries drain more evenly and gave us a little longer flight time. I also added some battery level indicators for good measure. So now you're all caught up and it's finally time to fly for real. No supports, just me and this creation I built.
we actually did it. Okay, I finally completed this lifelong goal of mine. And it was all the more special because my mom was there. You know, she's seen this whole process. She's seen all the ups and downs, all my failed attempts, all my crazy projects. So it was like a really special moment to be able to finally tell her that I did it. Like, yeah, I mean, I did it. <laughs> we don't need to push our life. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now that we know that we can fly, Let's finish this video off by making a sick right. flying edit. So to do that, we need locations. So somehow we have to get people to let us fly this, um, I don't even know what to call it. How, how am I supposed to explain this? All right, we're gonna have to make some calls. Yeah, hi, so I'm doing a video project and I'm calling to see if it would be okay if I filmed a part at the beach by the pond. Yeah, I'd, I'd be filming a drone I built. Yeah, so, yeah, kind of, yeah, like, sort of like one of those video drones. Like it, yeah, it's like a little bigger. All right, well, they're expecting a drone. Yeah, that's fine. No one will, know, no one will suspect anything. Pretty legit. Nothing that could go wrong. You're just flying a drone. That's all it is, just flying a drone. Hey, I'm doing a video project, and I'm calling to see if it'd be okay if I filmed a part yes. at the beach by the pond. First impressions, what are you thinking? It's like a UFO. How, how subtle I'm, is it? Is it subtle? subtle. It could be worse. It could be much worse. Nice truck, by Thank the way. Thank you. They honestly kind of whip. Yeah, hi. I'm wondering if you're allowed to fly drones at <laughs> park. Here we got the big drone. And then we got the little drone. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I'm going to ask you that again. What do you think is the worst that could happen? Weaponization. I think you were kind of hit the mark with the whole death thing. I don't know why, but I feel like I want to do something with that grass. You definitely have to walk through that grass. Yeah. Like, at least put on the jacket and the helmet. You're not allergic to grass. <laughs> grass. You're standing in grass. Yeah, I'm filming a drone I built. Give us the gander. Give us the gander. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. I want your expressions. <laughs> I want reactions. This is YouTube, all right? All right, all right. I want movement. Kevlar jeans. You didn't want to like strip for YouTube? Oh, 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 you were expecting a little show? Hey, you don't get that for free. You gotta pay for that. Uh, you're both filming? <laughs> Lightning the load. So, uh, I'm just wondering what your drone policy is. Okay, cool. All right, I see no way this goes badly. So, without further ado, here's my biggest creation yet. Honestly, the copter worked great. I, each time I flew it, I got a bit more comfortable and it started to become a ton of fun. Like it's just so sick to be able to have the freedom just to lean where you want to go and go there and like up and down too. It's oh, so sick. Now in theory, this thing can go like hundreds of feet in the sky and go super fast. Like it's got a stupid amount of thrust. Like all these tests, we weren't even using all the motors. So, but for safety reasons, I'm not going to do that yet. Like if I really want to do anything crazy, it's got to be like over water or something. So like sort of minimize the risk of injury from crashing. And we'd have to do a few more mods to the drone to get it water ready. But until then, we have a working hovercraft that we can trick out any way we want. So definitely let me know what you guys want to see me do in the future with this. Like now that we've got it working, there's just endless possibilities with this thing. But most of all, I want to thank you guys. Like I literally could not have built this thing without you. That's why I want you guys to be included in this project as much as possible giving me ideas. Also, big shout out to Greepow for sponsoring this project. They provided the LiPo batteries. So if you ever need batteries, definitely check them out. They're a great company. Put a link in the description. So in my mind, this video marks a new chapter for this channel. Finally completed this goal that's been years in the making, and now the bar is raised. You can see, previous bar, new bar. 
pretty. Also, I just graduated college and I'm moving out west in a few days, so I don't know if I mentioned that. Overall, I'm just extremely happy right now. Like, if there's one thing I love to do most in life, it's create. Whether it's videos, building, drawing, painting, you name it. So the reason I love YouTube so much is I'm able to use all of these creative outlets to make something I'm really proud of. Like I'm truly blessed to be able to say this is what I do. Like you guys are the reason I get to say that. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I cannot wait to see what the future holds for us. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Let's go, we did it.